Welcome back to the Brothers Workshop. As always, I'm Sean, and today we're going to be finishing up with the hardwood floor restoration that we began in the last video. If you remember last time, we sanded the floors and prepped them for stain and polyurethane. Well, this time we're going to get into that. So if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and don't forget to leave a comment. We love hearing from you guys. We just finished up in the master bedroom, as you can see behind me here. All of the edges have been taken care of. I had to use a random orbital sander for that. Um, you come in here into the spare bedroom and I've already mopped, so everything is actually ready to go. We just have to lay down some stain. So we stained the floors by hand. After a while, you're gonna realize that hardwood floors are pretty rough to kneel on, so we recommend using a mover's pad or some type of a quilt. This way your knees are gonna be cushioned as you stain the floors for a prolonged period of time. We chose to go with Early American. It's a little bit darker, and it's by a company called Farthane. It gave us the rustic look that we were going for. We use an old t-shirt as a rag. This way we minimize fibers that would get stuck to the floor as we spread on the stain. When you apply the stain, make sure that you're going with the grain of the wood and you're not laying it on too thick. Once you're done applying the stain, you're gonna lightly sand over the entire surface of the floors using a very fine grit sandpaper. Next, you're gonna apply the polyurethane. The polyurethane we bought was from the same company that produced the stain. We did this to ensure that there is no inconsistencies when we apply it. We decided to go with a semi-gloss, clear, interior, oil-based polyurethane. Once you open the can, you're going to apply it the same exact way you applied the stain. Make sure you're going with the grain of the wood and applying it lightly. Once you finish the first coat, you're going to lightly sand over all the surface of the hardwood floor again using a fine grit sandpaper. We decided to do this three times to make sure that we have a good finish and a good seal on the floors and they turned out beautifully. Thanks for watching guys. We're going to be bringing more of this stuff to you as we continue to renovate this old house. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment because we do really like hearing from you guys.